Welcome to Getting High on Anthropology. I'm Marty Otanez, the host of the show. Today we are at the Media Center on the Arary campus in Denver, Colorado. Friends, since fall 2015, the show is focused on cannabis research and education. The idea is to produce non-fee-based educational material about cannabis research and advocacy. Episodes have covered workplace health and safety, industrial hemp, policy, and health-related research. Colorado is one of the epicenters of the global cannabis sector, so most of the episodes focus on issues in Colorado. However, the global cannabis sector also has innovations happening in other parts of the world. Industrial hemp, for example, is being um, farmed in uh, South Africa and Malawi. So the show has done a couple episodes on these different issues. At CU Denver, I teach a course called Cannabis Culture. Students in the course develop and produce digital stories focusing on cannabis consumption and production. Some of these digital stories are integrated in episodes of the show Getting High on Anthropology. Visit the website fsngreen.org to watch um, past episodes of Getting High on Anthropology. We're going to be right back after a quick reminder for fire safety. Got it all wrong. Mr. Trumbull's under arrest for a felony. Excuse me, I'm Mrs. Trumbull. Do you know where my husband is? In the booking room, right over here. Just empty your pockets, please, oh, sir. I was with my daughter. Oh, there you are, all right. Sir, can I have a business address, please? Yes, sir. At 2107 Doral in Lenby. Stand still, sir. Face front. Thank you. All right, right this way, sir. So, uh, Joe, would you call my wife to mobile a light? Yeah. Give me your eyes thumped. Everything. I've never been in trouble Antex in my life. Antex finger, please. You know, I have one telephone call. If you wish to call your attorney, you may. It, it's Nick's number. Home. I'll call right this way, sir. Yes, yes, please call me. I will. Okay, let's go, sir. And I'll need your belt and your shoes. Why? There must be some kind of a mistake, officer. I'm not a criminal. In here. It was an accident. I didn't mean to start a fire. If you're guilty of starting a forest fire, even accidentally, you'll pay for it. And we're back. Here are some cannabis-related news stories. The Associated Press reports that the Veteran Administration opposes bills broadening medical marijuana access for veterans. According to Dr. Keita Franklin, National Director of Suicide Prevention for the Department's Office of Mental Health and Suicide Prevention, she testified... The VA opposes letting its doctors recommend medical marijuana for vets because the plant remains federally outlawed given its status as a Schedule I drug under the U.S. Controlled Substances Act. Forbes reported on April 29, 2019, Texas lawmakers approve marijuana decriminalization bill. The legislation, which would punish people caught with an ounce or less of cannabis with a fine of $500 instead of arrest and incarceration, passed by a vote 98 to 43. Up next is a segment created by Art Morales for his documentary covering the industrialization of hemp in America. I don't like living in this mess we've created. Will our relics be in the form of single-use, prepackaged vacuum-sealed trinkets of our consumer-driven, consumer-herded society? No, we are conditioned through television programming that we are supposed to express ourselves from what is to be consumed with every commercial break. The dare to be drug free was, in retrospect, free drug advertisement. Demonizing anything in the media has the same undesired effect. A prime example being our current president of the United States. Yes, even him. Enacting change is the purest form of protest. Instead of complaining about a situation, we must find solutions to this problem. Solutions to any problem are more valuable than the observation of the problem. We are all living in a shitty situation, but it is what we do with the situation that truly shapes the character of our person. And when we stop tearing down trees to wipe our ass. 
And we're back with Kevin Stanton, a filmmaker on cannabis, to get his perspective on the issue. Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. So you have a, a film that you produced. Tell us about the film and um, what is the take-home message for the film? Uh, so the documentary is called uh, Greener Pastures, and, and it, I focus on just the unfair arrest rates between uh, white people and people of color uh, when it comes to cannabis. Uh, even in a place like Denver, where we have uh, you know, legalized recreational and medical cannabis, uh, yet these uh, dis disparities and arrest rates uh, are happening before and after legalization. So it's and then who or what kind of individuals are featured in the documentary? Um, I feature uh, some uh, people of color who have experienced this uh, unfair treatment. And then uh, so I talked to uh, Dr. Uh, Sam Kamen. He's a professor of cannabis law at uh, DU here. In Denver, who actually uh, had a heavy hand in uh, putting Amendment 64 uh, through to legalize uh, recreational cannabis here in Colorado. And what originally sparked your interest in this topic? Um, just uh, seeing, um, not, not even like in terms of cannabis, just like just gross social and racial injustice uh, across the board and uh, injustice when it comes to gender as well. And um, I, I just uh, then kind of like examining. Uh, you know, um, history and the history of this country and kind of realizing like, wow, there is a, it's kind of founded on white supremacy and it doesn't seem, that seems to be prevalent to me at least today. And yeah. Well, I'm really excited to check out the film and could you briefly um, share how people can learn or see the film? You can look me up on uh, YouTube under my name, Kevin Stanton. I have a channel there and you can see the film and any other projects I have there. Excellent. Kevin, thank, thank you. you for being on the show. This has been another episode of Getting High on Anthropology with me, Mario Tanyas. We'll see you next Thursday at 7 p.m.